Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Eloquis, Introduction for New Users Introduction Blood clots can happen in patients who have problems with their blood, blood vessels, or heart. Blood clots may be dangerous. They may lead to the loss of an arm or leg, strokes, or death. Your healthcare provider may ask you to take a blood thinner to help prevent harmful blood clots. Eliquis, or Apixaban, is a blood thinning medicine. This program will help you understand the benefits and risks of Eliquis. It also explains how to use this medicine. Benefits of Eliquis After an injury, natural clotting substances in the blood cause the blood to harden and seal over the injury site. These clots help minimize blood loss. Some patients can form harmful blood clots inside the blood vessels. This may happen if the person has problems with their blood, blood vessels, or heart. It may also happen after surgery. These clots can get bigger and block the flow of blood within blood vessels. They can also move within the body. This can cause harm to affected body parts. A blood clot in the arteries of the brain can stop blood flow and lead to a stroke. The symptoms of a stroke are weakness, numbness, confusion, problem speaking or understanding, vision impairment. It can also cause total paralysis and even death. A heart attack happens when a blood clot stops blood flow to the heart. The symptoms of a heart attack include chest pain, shortness of breath, possible arm and jaw pain. A heart attack can also result in a loss of consciousness or death. A blood clot in the arteries that go to an arm or a leg can lead to severe pain, coldness, or an infection called gangrene. Gangrene is an infection that happens when tissue in the body dies. Surgery may be needed to remove the infected body part. A blood clot can also stop blood flow to the legs or lungs. This may lead to leg swelling and shortness of breath or death. All people are at some risk of forming harmful blood clots, but patients with certain medical problems are at higher risk. To lower the risk of harmful blood clots, healthcare providers may ask patients to take a medicine called a blood thinner. Eliquis is a blood thinner. Eliquis decreases the ability of the body to form clots. This makes it less likely that harmful blood clots will form inside the heart and blood vessels of the lungs and legs. Your healthcare provider will tell you how long you will have to take Eliquis. Risks of Eliquis Like any other medicine, Eliquis poses some risks. Learning about the risks can help you avoid them or detect them early if they happen. Because Eliquis reduces the ability of the body to form blood clots, a patient on Eliquis will bleed longer after an injury than those who are not on it. If you are involved in an accident while taking a blood thinner, you could lose too much blood. Even minor accidents, such as falls, can cause bleeding inside the body or brain. Severe bleeding can cause death if not treated, but this is very rare. Let a healthcare provider know right away if you notice signs of bleeding. For these reasons, your healthcare provider will give you Eliquis to thin your blood without thinning it too much. If the blood is not thin enough, blood clots inside the blood vessels and heart may form. If the blood is too thin, you are at a higher risk of bleeding. Take the amount of Eliquis your healthcare provider prescribes. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Before using Eliquis
Before using Eliquis, tell your healthcare provider if you are taking any other blood thinning medications or any medications to treat or prevent blood clots. Tell your healthcare provider if you have an artificial valve or a bleeding disorder. Also tell him or her if you are on dialysis. Talk with your healthcare provider if you need to have a spinal tap or epidural, spinal anesthesia. Eliquis increases your risk of a blood clot near your spinal cord after these procedures. It also raises your risk of permanent paralysis or loss of the ability to move. Notify your healthcare provider if you have a catheter in your spine or elsewhere in your body, have recently had a catheter removed, have recently had a spinal tap or spinal anesthesia, epidural, have had repeated spinal taps or have had spinal surgery in the past. Tell your healthcare provider if you take NSAIDs such as aspirin, ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, naproxen, Aleve, Diclofenac, endomethacin, or meloxicam on a regular basis. Do not take Eliquis if you are allergic to apixaban. The signs of an allergic reaction can include difficulty swallowing, hives, itching, rash. Taking Eliquis Eliquis pills are usually taken twice a day. Your healthcare provider will tell you the best dose and when you should take it. Eliquis can be taken with or without food. It should be stored away from heat and moisture at room temperature. Your healthcare provider will adjust your dose as needed. Take Eliquis as prescribed. If you stop taking Eliquis without your healthcare provider's permission, your risk of a stroke or blood clot goes up. Keep taking Eliquis for as long as your healthcare provider recommends. If you miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember. Take your next dose at the scheduled time. If it is almost time for your next dose, skip the missed dose. Do not take a double dose. While using Eliquis Eliquis interacts with certain drugs. You should always tell your healthcare provider about all the medications you take in order to avoid interactions. Medications that can interact with Eliquis include, but are not limited to, other blood thinning medications, antidepressants, NSAIDs, which are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs if used for a long time, over-the-counter medications such as vitamins and herbal products can interact with Eliquis. Make sure to tell your healthcare providers about all supplements and medications you take. Tell your healthcare providers you are taking Eliquis before scheduling any invasive procedure such as a surgery, colonoscopy, or endoscopy. An invasive procedure involves inserting an instrument into the body or cutting or puncturing the body. Talk with your healthcare provider about any over-the-counter medicines you can take for pain relief. Tell your healthcare providers about any new or unusual symptoms you may have. You should follow your healthcare provider's instructions when you take Eliquis. Because people on Eliquis are more likely to have internal bleeding, you should not play contact sports such as boxing, football, hockey, soccer, wrestling. Check with your healthcare provider before you start a new exercise program or sport. You should be careful when using knives. Razors and hard toothbrushes can also cause bleeding. Use an electric shaver and a soft toothbrush instead. Do not take medications that make bleeding more likely. These include aspirin, ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, naproxen, Aleve, diclofenac, endomethacin, meloxicam, and others. Make sure to tell all of your healthcare providers, even your dentist, that you are on Eliquis, especially if you will have any type of surgery or injection. Taking Eliquis during pregnancy raises the risk of bleeding during delivery. If you are thinking about becoming pregnant, are pregnant, or want to breastfeed, talk to your healthcare provider about Eliquis. It is recommended that patients who are on Eliquis wear a medical alert charm. 
This is very important in cases of medical emergencies when you are not able to communicate with your healthcare providers. When to call your healthcare provider? Certain side effects of Eliquis are normal, such as bruising more easily. Even if you are taking the prescribed amount of Eliquis, dangerous internal bleeding or blood clots can still happen. It is important to tell your healthcare provider about any signs of internal bleeding or blood clots. This section will teach you about when you should call your healthcare provider. You or one of your family members or friends should call your healthcare provider if you have a serious fall or hit your head, especially if you start to have a headache or become sleepy or weak. Your healthcare provider may want to check for bleeding in the brain. If there is any blood in your urine, pee or stools, bowel movement, call your healthcare provider. Urine that is amber, reddish or orange or stools that are black may be a sign of blood. Your healthcare provider may want to check for internal bleeding in your digestive or urinary systems. If you notice unusual bruising, large areas of bruising, or black and blue marks on your skin for unknown reasons, you should tell your healthcare provider. This may mean that you are bleeding under the skin. Small bruises after minor accidents, such as a leg hitting the furniture, are normal and you do not need to call your healthcare provider. Check with your healthcare provider if you experience dizziness, trouble breathing, chest pain or pressure, more weakness or tiredness than normal. These can be signs of blood loss and anemia. Call your healthcare provider when there is bleeding that does not stop from a cut or from your nose. Call your healthcare provider if the bleeding does not stop after seven minutes. If you are a woman who menstruates, tell your healthcare provider if you notice more bleeding than usual when you get your menstrual period. Also call if you have bleeding between periods. You should also check with your healthcare provider if you notice any blood when you cough or vomit, if you have loose or runny stools, diarrhea, or if you have an infection with a high fever and chills. Check with your healthcare provider if you have any pain or swelling in any of your joints. You could have bleeding inside the joint. Call your healthcare provider right away if you experience a rash, hives, itching, swallowing problems. Call your healthcare provider right away if you experience flu like symptoms such as diarrhea, loose stools, nausea, you feel like you need to vomit, vomiting. Throwing up. Call your healthcare provider right away if you have an infection, loss of appetite, pain in the upper right side of the stomach, yellowish eyes or skin. You should also call your healthcare provider if your hands, feet, ankles, or lower legs are swollen. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Some patients can form harmful blood clots inside the blood vessels. This may happen if the person has problems with their blood, blood vessels, or heart. It may also happen after surgery. Eliquis decreases the ability of the body to form clots. This makes it less likely that harmful blood clots will form inside the heart and blood vessels of the lungs and legs. Because Eliquis reduces the ability of the body to form blood clots, a patient on Eliquis will bleed longer after an injury than those who are not on it. It is important to tell your healthcare provider about any signs of internal bleeding or blood clots. Other medicines and supplements can affect how thin the blood is. That is why you should check with your healthcare provider before taking any supplement or medicine, including over the counter medication. Like any other medicine, Eliquis poses some risks. Learning about the risks of Eliquis can help you avoid them or detect them early if they happen. Thank you for using Explain.